Chevy? Are you okay? No. Take a pull at something. Oh yeah, I wanted the Charvel anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> Mason? What is kicking, guys? Whoa, today's video. This is actually a lot of fun. <laughs> it's like a trip down memory lane. So what are we talking about? We are talking about just TV shows, cartoons. They have these amazing intros with these killer guitar riffs. These songs, uh, these shows, I mean, have killer, killer guitar riffs in them. So if you want tabs for everything I'm about to play, that's on my website with lesson packs. And if you want whatever the random thing that I played in the beginning of all these videos, uh, that is going to be tabbed out over on Patreon. So you can check that out and see the other exclusive content. So we're gonna go ahead and get jam a on these things and uh, that's it. Let's go! <laughs> So number one, the Mother Truck and Power Rangers. Such a cool riff, uh, played by Buckethead. And that really cool tapping section. So let's go ahead and cover what the riff is going on here. So what the, what the riff is going on? That's, <laughs> never mind. But you're palm muting twice on the low E string. Then you go to a seventh fret on the A and do a power chord, it's E5. Okay, you do that, I think four times. Okay, so you have that. Now the last time you go like this. So you play that on E5 power chord twice and slide up to an F5. So I'm just going from seven to nine to eight and 10. And that's essentially the riff, you know. And then it comes in with this big old tapping line. Um, and shifts up. Shift down. So here's what's happening. I'm tapping 12 on the G. It's actually uh, kind of tricky because uh, he's doing it in a pattern that I've never done before. I always like went lower note to higher note. He goes high to low. So um, he's tapping 12 on the G. Then you pull off the nine and you pull off the five. Then you hammer back on to nine. So, and that's the pattern. So. Okay, so you did it four times. Sorry, I pulled it out of, out of tune there a little bit. Now you just simply move up two frets. We're gonna be tapping 14, pull off to 11, pull off to seven, hammer on 11, so. Okay, now I'm shifting down to the B string. I'm gonna be tapping 12, and I'm gonna go to seven on the B, and then four. So it goes 12, seven, four, seven. Okay, now you keep tapping 12, and you shift your left hand up to five and eight. 
Now keep your left hand on five and eight, and you're gonna go to 13. And you do that one, the last one, actually eight times. So all the other ones were four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you go this one five, or eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up to that 12 on the B. So my guy then. Such a cool riff. All right, now next we are talking about one of, and it's part of the reason why I did the intro the way I did to this video, my favorite shows ever as a kid growing up, and that was Dragon Ball Z. And uh, the, I remember the Rock the Dragon, when I thought of this idea for the video, I was like, Rock the Dragon popped in my head first before anything else. Um, such a cool riff. I can't really tell, uh, there's some kind of effect on the guitar, so he's either using single notes or power chords here in the beginning. <laughs> Either one works, it's the same general idea. So I'm gonna use power chords because it's like that it makes it sound a little bit bigger. So basically I'm gonna go to an E5, same chord that we did in the Power Rangers, twice, and I go down to fifth fret, so go into a D5. Back to E5. Now I add a little fill here out of our pentatonic scale. I'm bending five on the D, then I go to seven on the A. So. Now the next part, um, there's a little added thing that they go, it goes like, I'll, I'll just, I'll play it and I'll explain it. So uh, everyone seems to go like this, which is actually what the song does, that E, E, D, E. But if you cut out a little bit early, you can hear them, they do this scream. So. Which is all the way up here on 14, bending G. Let it come back down and you go to 12. I, and I, I just like that. It, it, it's such a cool riff. Uh, then the next part is this. Okay, so you have that. And here's this little fill. It's, uh, so you go E, E, D. Then it's gonna go seven on the A string, then seven on the low, then five, seven on the A, five on the D, and then nine on the A. Then it goes E, E, D, E, and the next part's even cooler. So I'm gonna go seven on the D, and you're tremolo picking this. So you go seven, 10, nine, six, all on the D. Then you're gonna go seven again on the D. Now you hop down to the G, and it goes nine, eight, five. Back to seven on the D. Then 10, nine, six. Back to seven on the D. Eight, nine, 11. So. Alright, I would bet that this is probably the most popular of all of these, and it's the intro to the Pokemon theme. It starts out with this big old bend. It's all out of G minor. Uh, when you play it with the song, it's a lot more fun, and I'm actually doing a cover of this a little bit later on. But basically, you start out with this big old bend here on 18 on the B string. And I don't think there's vibrato on it. I keep adding vibrato because I can't stop. And then it goes into these chords, so it goes. So I'm gonna go fifth fret on the A string power chord. These are all power chords. Then I go to eight, and then 10. Do, do, do. I wanna be the very best. So five, eight, 10. And then you go back to eight on the A, five on the A, third fret low E. Now that G5. So I wanna be the very best. No one ever was. Now this part is uh, eight on the A string, third fret on the A, fifth fret, then 
six. So that's sixth fret on the low E string. You do it again. Then third fret, the A, fifth fret. That's the whole intro. Come on, you know you wanted to sing that song with me. So I thought we would end with, of course, the most epic of them all. One of the greatest theme songs ever written in modern day history. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Um, it's, of course, the King of the Hill theme song. It's so good. So uh, they use a lot less distortion than what I'm rocking, but uh, we're gonna roll with it. So it's uh, just this kind of gallop. So once you get the gallop down, you kind of have the overall idea, and then we're just filling in power chord. So just get this kind of thing. Okay, and I'm just holding down an E5, so it's open low E string, and then second fret on the A. Okay. So you have that gallop, and you go to fourth fret power chord, on the low E string. Then I go to 5th fret. Okay. Then you go up to 9, 7. So this is like, so this is all tabbed out. It's gonna be, it would be, take me forever to be like, all right, now it's open, open, open. So. Back to the opens, or E5. Okay, then it's open, then it's fourth fret again, then it goes. So then I'm just doing like a little walk down. So it's fifth fret on the low E string, fourth fret, second fret, then fourth to second. So, okay, so, oh, sorry. Okay, then we go. So back to that open. Fourth, fifth, ninth, eleven. Then it goes. Oh, sorry. So you do an E5 power chord on the A, so seventh fret, fourth fret on the A, second fret, fifth fret low E string, fourth fret twice. And he has a sweeping thing, and you know, Hank, he's, he's crazy. He's crazy. Alrighty, guys, that will be it. Hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, make sure you get the tabs for that uh, over on my website. Check out lesson packs if you want to check out the Patreon page. That link is down below for you, of course, as well. I just dropped my pick. It means it's time to go. I will see you all later. Don't forget to rock and roll and set it. To 11. When you're rocking out, you set it to 11, right? Why, why, why would you set it to 10? High five.